Homologous structures are anatomical structures that are similar structurally, but they tend to have different functions. Let's take a look at a couple examples. Take a look at the arm of a human, the leg of a cat, leg of a horse, wing of a bat, and a flipper of a dolphin. In the group, you have different species, but the anatomical structures look similar. Why would the bones in a dolphin's flipper have bones similar to what you use to grasp objects? These are homologous structures. Similar anatomy, different functions. Notice that they are made up of similar bones. Each structure has a humerus, two forearm bones, the radius, which is in green, and the ulna, which is yellow, metacarpals, and phalanges. Notice that the dolphin has five phalanges, just like we have five fingers. But also notice that each structure has a slightly different function. The horse uses the structure to walk and run, and the bat uses the structure to fly, and again, the dolphin uses it to swim. Homologous structures can be used to infer evolutionary relationships among organisms. Because the structures are similar with the human, cat, horse, bat, and dolphin, it is easy to infer that they all came from a common ancestor. Analogous structures are basically the opposite of homologous structures. These structures are anatomically different, yet have a similar function. Let's take a look at two examples. First, the wing of an insect and the wing of a bird. You can clearly see they are structurally very different. However, they are both used for flight. Another example is the leg of a horse and the leg of a grasshopper. The grasshopper is an insect and has a segmented leg with an exoskeleton, while the horse is a mammal with joints, tendons, and ligaments. Although the legs are structurally different, they carry out a similar function. Analogous structures are not associated with common ancestors like the homologous structures are. In addition, analogous structures are associated with convergent evolution and homologous structures are associated with divergent evolution.